All right, hey guys, today we're gonna to be taking care of a very simple yet commonly overlooked aspect of vehicle maintenance, and that is changing the cabin air filter on the JL. Uh, this process is gonna be pretty much identical for any newer model JL as well as the new JT Gladiator. If you're interested in doing this yourself, which I highly recommend, I will leave a link to this in the description down below. Uh, before we get started, make sure you give this video a like, and as always, feel free to subscribe. All right, let's do it. All right, so similar to our JK Wrangler, the cabin air filter in the new JL and JT is gonna be located directly behind the glove box. So real quick, let's show you how to gain access to that area. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is locate our soft open arm on the left side of our glove box and just simply pull up on that and it will just pop out. Locate the little glove box stop just at the top of the glove box on the inside and just simply push in on that and then our glove box will drop down out of place. Okay, once our glove box is off, you'll notice that there's this plastic cover piece right at the bottom here, and then you'll see that there are two clips, and all you have to do is press in on those and then remove this piece, and that will reveal our cabin air filter. All right, to remove our old cabin air filter, all you have to do is pretty much just push in right there and then slowly pull it out and you can see it's uh, pretty darn dirty. Man, all right. Okay, now that our old cabin air filter is out, we can put the new one back in, and you should have some arrows pointing one direction on your cabin air filter, and you're gonna want those to point downwards. But anyways, so to get this back in, you're pretty much just gonna kind of scrunch it up a little bit like an accordion, and then slowly work it into place all right, perfect. Okay, and now we just need to put our cabin air filter cover back on, and that will just click back into place. All right, then to get our glove box back on, you'll notice that there are these little hinge pivot points at the bottom, and you just have to pop it back in, and then you can swing it up. Click your upper glove box stop back into place. All right, and then simply reinsert our soft stop and gently press down. All right, guys, like I said, this is a very simple yet commonly overlooked part of regular vehicle maintenance. Uh, I believe Chrysler recommends changing this filter at least once a year, and I would definitely say it's a good idea, especially if you do a lot of off-roading. All right, well, uh, if you guys found this video useful, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you click that notification bell so you get updates about all my new content. And as always, feel free to subscribe. All right, you guys take it easy.